welcome to a brief presentation of the NFIT connectors compared to existing Entral connectors. This presentation is brought to you by GI Design Associates. This is our attempt to duplicate the results of a test performed by Kimberly Clark, presented by Peggy Gunter, entitled Being Prepared New Entral Connectors, shown on the Oli.org website. Page 42 of the Gunter presentation discusses a 20 French peg percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy tube using a commercial formula via the gravity method. The conclusion of the Gunter presentation is that flow in milliliters per minute is essentially the same whether using the NFIT system or the existing connector system. We will now duplicate that experiment to see if that is in fact the case. Here we have a very popular barred 20 French PEG tube, percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy tube, that I will be attaching their standard Y port connector. I will next hemostat off the tube to close off the tube to flow. I will next be attaching a typical catheter tip syringe and we will now determine using standard formula how long it takes in order to be able to administer 60 cc of formula. We will fill up the syringe with 20 cc's of formula. We will now open up the hemostat and time it to see how many seconds it takes to drain the full amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's about how long it took in order to be able to drain the full 60 cc's out of the tube using the existing connector. We will now replace this using the patient side end fit connector and attaching the end fit syringe we will hemostat this off and then attach 60 cc's of formula here and compare the flow rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. It 
took 80 seconds compared to approximately the 26 using the standard connector. I will now duplicate this experiment using a standard Cook 24 French tube about 14 inches long. I will take the standard Boldus Cook adapter, hemostat off the tube, connect it to the standard catheter tip syringe, fill it with 20 cc's of formula, 60 I'm sorry, 60, and then we'll see how long this takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It took 10 seconds to drain this using the standard connector of 60 cc's in volume. Now let's replace this with the patient side 24 French end fit connector. And again we will connect this to the end fit syringe. Hemostat it off. Fill it with 60 cc's worth of formula, and we'll see how long this takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It took approximately 30 seconds in order for this to completely drain using the end fit connector. As you can see, there's a substantial difference whether you use the 20 French system or the 24 French system between the end fit connector and the standard connectors that are used on existing PEG tubes.